Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Today we're going to be checking out Forge for Minecraft Java Edition. And in case you guys are wondering what is Forge, basically Forge allows you to install mods to your Minecraft Java game. And you can add loads of modifications to your game. And you won't be able to do this without Forge, so I highly recommend that you install Forge and you install additional mods after installing Forge for Minecraft Java Edition. Alright, so as you can see, I've currently got this minimap modification installed at the moment on the top left of my screen. If we enlarge it, you can see it's really cool. It's telling me where I am in the, in the map and it's also giving me the coordinates as well. So I think it's quite useful to have. So I'm going to also show you how to install this after you've installed Forge in your Minecraft game. Alright, so you need to make sure that the version of Minecraft that you've got installed is the official Minecraft Java edition and you've got the full version of the game and after that what you need to do, you need to make sure that you've got Java installed and yes, this is a very important step because you may not be able to continue without this and it's going to ensure that you're able to install Forge very easily on your system. So what you need to do is make sure that you've got your internet browser open, type in java.com on there and just download it from the website. Click on agree and start free download. It will download the file obviously and then you can run it. You may get two options given to you. One of them will either be that it's going to update your previous version of Java. So it's going to uninstall the previous version and then install the latest version. Or it's going to tell you that you already got the latest version so you don't need to do anything. So after you've done this, what we need to do is we need to head over to the Forge website, the Minecraft Forge website and download the latest version of Minecraft Forge. So what I normally do is just type in Minecraft Forge in the search bar and it's normally the first link here. So as you can see, it's files.minecraftforge.net. This is the official website for it. Just accept that. And what you need to do, just make sure that you've got the latest file installed. So as you can see, this is for version 1.16.5 which as of today's date is the latest version. Just click on the installer. You will see this website where you have to wait about five seconds for the link to come active and then you can click it and then should download the file. So let's click on skip and it will download the file. All right, so once you've downloaded the file, you'll have this file, which is called Forge 1.16.5 and it will say installer and it will be a jar extension file. And what you need to do to install this is right click on this Hover over open width and you should see an option here which says Java platform SE binary. So just click that. If you haven't got that showing and it's not showing up when you hover over open width, then it means that Java is not being installed properly. So this is why I said earlier you need to make sure that Java is installed properly. You've got the latest version and this will make sure that you've got a smooth and seamless installation. So just click on this. Just give it a few seconds and it should open up with the installation here. So all you need to do is just make sure it says install client, click on OK, leave this directory here, which is the default Minecraft directory. Hopefully that's where you've got Minecraft installed already. So just click on OK and let it download some additional files and install Forge. Okay, once it's installed Forge, you need to open up the Minecraft launcher. On the left, you'll see there'll be a drop down menu here. Just click on that and it should say Forge over here. It will also show Forge in the installations section of the installer and what you need to do is run this for the first time making sure that forge is selected in the drop down and you'll see all this writing here it's going to try and download some stuff just let wait for it to load And as you can see at the bottom left there, it says four mods loaded onto the system. Obviously, if you're running this for the first time, just click on this mods button here and you'll see that it's come up with this screen. On the left, it'll have two mods listed. If this is the first time, it'll say Minecraft and it'll say Forge. What you need to do is click on this button here, which says open mods folder. And you will have this folder showing, as you can see over here, and it will have the directory where your Minecraft default installation has been installed to and it will be a mods folder and you can put mods into this folder. Don't worry if you do happen to accidentally close this. What you can do 
is you can click on the installations section here in your Minecraft launcher. Just hover over any of these and then click on the folder icon and then just click on the mods folder here. Okay, now that you've got the mods folder and you've got Forge installed, it's time to install the mod and see how that goes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to download the modification. And as you can see, I've got this mod already placed in this folder, which is Xeros Minimap. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this as well. All right, and then we're going to download and reinstall the modification again. So hover back to your internet browser. And the website I like to use is minecraftmods.com. Obviously, you can use the Curse Forge as well, which has a more of a variety of mods there. But I got my latest version of the Xeros minimap from this website. If you have a look at the right hand side here, it says popular mods. So just click on Xeros minimap here. Click on the download section. You scroll all the way down here. Click on download. It will take you to the main website for this mods creator. So this is the, uh, it says chocolateminecraft.com. This is the creator's site. So you can just download it from here. As you can see, the latest version is 21.7.1. And if you, may, if you want to make sure that you're downloading it for Forge and not Fabric, because we are using Forge. So let's click on this. All right, so as you can see, I've got this file downloaded. It's called Xeros Minimap 21.7.1 Forge 1.16.5, which is the latest version of Minecraft Java Edition. Next thing you want to do is make sure that you've got the Minecraft launcher open. Click on where it says installations, hover over any of these, click on the folder icon, as I said before, go into mods, then you just drag the Xeros minimap file. And if you notice that most of the Minecraft mod files, they have the jar extension on them and this Java logo on them. So you know you've got the right file. Okay, now that your file is in the mods folder, as you can see over here, we are in the mods folder and we've got the file inside there. Go back into your launcher and now you need to make sure that you're launching forge and nothing else so you make sure that you've got forge selected on the bottom left drop down here click on play wait for that to load up All right, now that the game is loaded, click on mods and on the left hand side here, you should see Minecraft, Forge and Zero's minimap listed here. So you know you've got them installed. Now click on single player, go into your world and basically it should show you the mod there. Let's have a look now. There you go. As you can see on the top left there, I've got the, the minimap loaded. It does take a while to load up the, uh, the backgrounds there for the minimap, but it does work as you can see. There we go. Everything's loaded now. Obviously we can press Y, change it to a circle as well if you wanted to give it that traditional game type look. Let me just set the weather. There we go. So yeah guys, this is how you install Forge inside your Minecraft Java edition and then you can load any other mods into your game without any problems. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please give us a like. If you have any comments or queries or any questions about this on how to install Forge, or if you do have any problems, leave them in the comment section below and I'll have a look and try and answer them for you. Obviously, please do subscribe to this channel to help support it and help it grow. And thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.